Okay, so it's a pretty deserted country road here and I just passed this house and I had to pull over um, and just talk about it really quickly because it's just so cool. I know nothing about it. Um, it's just along the, the main road between Fintree and Denny, which is not really a main road. It's in fact a very small road, but I just was struck by the like, collection of materials that we have here in different building styles. So what struck me instantly was this side over here which is made with really round small stones i would almost say river stones and the mortar that's holding it together is quite clearly a clay mortar um it might have a little bit of lime in it i mean i don't know and i'm not going to go up to the house to like poke at it but essentially you can see that it's not just like your lime or cement it's actually a large component of it is mud or clay that's actually dug from the ground so this is a highly traditional building style very vernacular to scotland um but that you'd actually don't see very much anymore either because it doesn't get preserved or because people don't realize that there's clay in the mortar and so when they go to repair it they just use lime because that thinks that's what they think that it's meant to be i'm um, not really acknowledging not really looking for the actual clay content of that mortar um, and then of course these wonderful window surrounds as well these long short long short big pieces of stone which match just so lovely and symmetrically with the coins which are the the end sorry ooh, there's my finger the end bits here those are coins and you see how they match the window surrounds there i think that's really cool and then we've got these cinder blocks here are they the cinder blocks or maybe yeah they look like cinder blocks um accompanied by just a tiny tiny who's gonna be my finger again row of bricks up at the very top do you see that up there those bricks right at the very top under the eaves of the roof and they continue over there, bricks. And then here, we get a sort of more of those round stones, but it's almost a checkered effect with the way that those coins and window surrounds like butt against each other. And then over here, of course, we have a rough cast, which is probably, I would say, probably cement, and then it's painted over with a pretty plasticky sort of paint. So very, in essence, a very modern finish and covering. So um, I don't know, it's just a really cool hodgepodge of materials. Over here we have the very modern finish, which is sort of failing and looking ugly, and then we have this like in-between thing that's cinder blocky, um, a couple of bricks up there at the eaves. Um, got a slate roof, which is, um, it's a modern slate roof. Um, so these will probably be Spanish slates or Welsh slates, so not Scottish slates. And then this like lovely, highly traditional um, Scottish building style also exposed. So I don't know, I just had to pull over at the side of the road and talk to you a little bit about what I'm seeing in this little building.